Alright, um, can't believe I'm doing this, but, uh, yeah, this is, how you pronounce it, Hatterful Boyfriend? Hatterful, I don't know, um, yeah, anyway, let's go right into this, this is gonna be a, it's gonna be insane. Welcome to Saint Pigeonations, please enter your name. Uh, so yeah, let's enter the school of birds. Lit literal birds. Um, so we're gonna be, we're gonna go ahead and be fat. Um, we're gonna be fat. Um, bollocks um, works for me. Um, fat bollocks. Fat bollocks. Okay, that's fine. Fine. Yeah, that's fine. Fat bollocks is cool. Better for a boyfriend. Please a powerful visualization module, allowing even the birdiest of birds. What is that folder icon? What does that do? Oh, it's pause it. Display human. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Why not? So at least there's some tiny speck of sanity. You get to see what they look like as people. So it's not completely strange. Sent Pigeonations, a school blessed of extreme curricular and facilities. Well, that's not all, I guess. It's already been a year since I ended my ordinary life and walked through these gates. I should probably say, this school is known for one thing in particular. This school is Japan's, no, the world's greatest gathering place for gifted birds. Wait, there are others? Birds who want to study the arts, the sciences, even sports, all come to Sent Pigeonations. The teaching staff and student body are both made up of a diverse blend of birds of different backgrounds and species. Imagine that at school where the teachers are actually more than one species. I'm often asked why I chose to come here despite not being a bird. Yeah, why the fuck, you creep? It's a long story. Yeah, you're a creep. Not every day I see you rushing along like this. Royal down! Usually you'd have been round for an hour by now, fat. Overslept. Yeah, fat, fat bollocks. This rock dove is named Kawara Ryuta. I'm probably gonna butcher a bunch of his Japanese names. I'm sorry about that if I do. We've been friends since he was barely hatched. He can be a little mischievous, but he's responsible and kind. Breakfast was a little hard to catch today. I can't relax without that red meat inside. Lol, lol, lol. My dirty mind. Living as a hunter-gatherer sounds tough. I'd be happy to make you breakfast, you know. I might take you up on that offer when starvation looms. Thanks, Rota. Cheers, pal. Cheers, Dove. Oh, the bell already. Come on, we need Tori to class. Jeepers, no good being late on the first day. <laughs> and so Ryota pulled me along into the school. Today is the start of a new semester, I wonder what lies in store. It was all I could do to adjust to the atmosphere last year, better make up for all that lost fun. The most splendid and greatest academy of the pigeon, by the pigeon and for the pigeon. Okay, then. Fair enough. I think we're in 2-3, Ryota and I are in the same class again. Old faces, new faces, a strange thrill fills my heart as I look around at all the assembled birds. Hope we'll get along, here's to the formation of many happy memories. Oh, the teacher's here. Good morning, ev every birdie. Uh, I'm Nanaki Kazuaki. I seem to be your teacher this year. I probably got that name wrong as well. I specialise in math and physics and also some other things. Sir, wake up, it's home room. He sleeps with his eyes open. Kazuyaki Nanaki. This quail is Nanaki Kazuaki. He's a famously soporific math professor. I don't know, I heard the rumours, but I didn't expect him to fall asleep just like that. Apparently he's well known as a mathematician, just goes to show great minds come in all forms. Ah, I'm sorry, isn't it a little warm in here? Which reminds me, we have a transfer student. Please introduce yourself, Shiragani. What is the point? I have no wish to speak with commoners. I don't think I'm here because I wish to be. Oh well, I guess that's that. Hey, hey, that's no good. 
but he doesn't want to introduce himself. You can't just let him break all the rules like that server system will collapse and we'll all turn into Clax and dissenters, I don't know what that is. Well, when you put it like that, could you at least say your name, Shiragani? Shiragani Libel Square. Oh, look at this faggot. His light blue hair, look. Seems this fan tale is Shiragani Sequoia. His feathers would make any birdie proud. Any birdie is terrible. He's pretty stuck up, but then transferring is never easy. I hope we can be friends. Sequoia sits down, glaring glaring daggers. What the fuck? At Ryota and me. I think this little bird is telling me there's going to be trouble down the line. Oh, it'll come at me then, Shiragani. Lunch already. Today is slipping by so quickly. That reminds me, I've had these books out from the library all summer. I'll return them now. Where is everyone? Aside from the receptionist, there's hardly any... Any birdie here. Huh? Huh? Is someone looking at me? Probably just my imagination. Or not. A morning dove stands in the dark corner staring in my direction. Morning doves aren't very common in Japan, but apparently they're everywhere in America. I'm gonna sneeze here. Um, did you want something from me? Oh, <coughs> oh excuse me. He looked away. Not really. I'm pretty sure it was him who I felt looking at me. There's no one else here. Are you sure? Yes. I don't want anything with you. It's the things you're carrying that I'm interested in. He glances at the desk as if to say, hurry up and return them already. Oh, sorry. <laughs> they were a little too dense and I never finished them. Were you waiting for them all summer? He silently returns his gaze to his book. Maybe he's in a bad mood. I'm bollocks fat, a sophomore, what about you? You're... Nageki. Fujishiro Nageki. Freshman. Oh, She's all morose. Fujishiro Nageki. Oh, actually right, she's not speaking right now, I apologise. Pretty sure in the Geki, huh? Morning doves are pretty rare in Japan. Maybe it's just his voice, but he seems kind of sad. <laughs> He's reading his book again. Okay, sorry to bother you. I keep meeting depressing people today. I know how you feel, mate. Now that I have that out of the way, I think I'll head back to class. Wait, isn't that... Oh no, it's that fag. You should have been instructed not to approach me in school. Come on, Sequoia, what kind of thing is that to say to your own brother after all these years? My brother, you must be joking. You've never once been a brother to me. Please don't try to talk to me again. I've no time for half-breeds. I'll be going now. Hey, wait just a... I guess even if we're in the same r school, now that's what's done is done. I ain't meant to eavesdrop, <laughs> eavesdrop Ed, but I think I just overheard something juicy. The ever popular trendsetter and ladies man Sakazaki Yuya is Sukuya's brother. Sukuya? I don't know, whatever. I wonder what the story behind that is. Hey! You're an old thing, right? You afraid of Sukuya's? Uh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to listen in on you. <laughs> no sweat. I tried to stay sexy swab in front of all you new ladies, but that, that wasn't too cool. Yeah, another fag. This fantail pigeon is Sakazaki Yuya, an upperclassman. I've never talked to him before, but he's famous or infamous throughout the school. Every birdie knows of him. That goddamn pun. <laughs> You're fat, right? That's how you greet people. You're fat. How, how did you know I'm fat? I know everybody here besides you're the only human. And you're fat. The single poppy in a field of rye. Single fat poppy. Did you say you were a friend of Sequoia's? Not exactly. We had a rather ballistic introduction this morning. We're in the same class, that's all. I never have thought that stuck up aristocrat wannabe was your brother. Aristocrat wannabe? He is an aristocrat actually, the genuine article in the flesh. He is? 
is a bit of a pain, so good luck, mon ami. Adio. He really is a noble bird. <laughs> I've never heard anything like that about you, you though. Probably a twisty business. That's all for today. Stay safe, everyone. Wear a condom. Yay! I'm fat. Sir, where's Ryota? He said he was going to the infirmary. Maybe you should go and see if he's still there. Now that I think about it, Ryota always did have a weak stomach. I should go to the infirmary just to make sure he's okay. Excuse me? Nobody's here? <laughs> God damn it. There's no one sleeping behind the curtains and the doctor isn't here either. My hunter-gatherer instincts feel no presence. There's no bird. Oh, for fuck's sake. There's no birdie here. Ryota? Ryo. 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 I don't know. No reply. The infirmary is empty. Weird. Did he go home already? I feel a little nervous poking around the empty room. Now that I think of it, I haven't been near much before. Unlike Ryota, I'm perfectly healthy. Whoa, they've got all kinds of drugs in here. Ethyl par, trife, lucio, benzene. What do these even do? Dare to find out. D -d -d doctor I'll feed you all sorts of things if you want, eh? Huh? No, thank you. Miss Partridge is Iwamain Shu, the school doctor. He's rather creepy in person and he has a rad... Uh, he has a bad reputation among the student body. Every bird for fuck knows that this, even just talking to him can bring you down with Asperger. Is that, is that a play on Asperger's? Asperger's? Pisaticosis or even worse things. And I never even heard him come in the door. Ninja Doctor? You don't look like you have a good reason to be in here. Did you need something? Um, I heard Ryota Kawara from 2 3 was supposed to be in here. Mm, he's already gone! Oh. Why didn't he come find me before going home? Sorry to bother you. I'll be going now. Creepy dick. Nah, no, I finally had that den of evil. Ryota's already gone home. What do I do now? Oh, I never got around to join the club last year. Maybe I'll go take a look at some of my options. I think there are clubs for baseball, soccer, track, kendo, migration, bird watching. Wasn't there another one? Anyway, I'll start the track team. I ran in middle school and it's always funny watching the birds hop around. I think the club room is in on the ground floor off the side. A white dove is having a tantrum inside. Goo goo! This is no pudding for a man. Goo! Oh, Kazam rejects it. It is a lie. Vicious falsification. He's dancing around the squish pudding. Hey, that's not very nice to the pudding. This is Oko San. He doesn't really look it, but supposedly he's a fan tail pigeon. Fan tail pigeon, I think. Either way, he's hyper. Koo! Oko San has suffered a deception most vile, a wretched betrayal. Betrayal? Koo! Oko San instructed that pudding to be provided for new members. Koo! But this is no pudding. I was scorned, betrayed, dragged into the street and shot by those he trusted most. It's squished and filthy, but the thing under his feet looks like normal store-bought pudding. What's wrong with it? Go, go, spare the jash, young lady. Okazan used wing attack. It's super effective. Go, they'll rue the day they cross Okazan. He'll have him flayed, hanged, shot at dawn, he will. Go, Okazan must now train to achieve true pudding farewell. What the fuck? And he's gone. He's a good runner, but what does pudding have to do with the track team? Everything. Pudding has everything to do with everything. And so we ended the first day of my second semester, semester at St. Pigeonations. Ah. Uh, I think we want to choose the class council today. As you all know, this school doesn't require you to join any club. If you want to, you can. But if you don't, then you're free to go home after school. Cool. Okasano is only time for the track team. That's good. What about you, Shiragani? The foolish question already old position, yeah. Oh, that's right. You became student president when you were admitted. Nepotism, ho! Don't we get to vote? Just coming to school is enough for me. You have to take care of your mother on your own, though. Hmm, I wonder what I should do. 
join the... Uh, oh, oh, so, uh... Uh, let's student council. That's everyone, isn't it? Have fun. Alright, let's leave that there then, and uh... Oh, we got some stats now, we got, what is that, wisdom, vitality, and charm or charisma, maybe? Uh, uh, oh, attend ten classes. Um, Alright, let's leave it there then.